Hey guys, welcome back to the channel here. It's been a while since we've done a drone review. Today we're going to look at this Mavic clone that was sent to me for review. This one's been around for a bit now. Many other models very similar to what this one is. But this is the Aurora HD camera model. And what they're advertising here is we've got foldable arms, 2.4 gigahertz series, headless mode, one key return, gyro system, HD camera, and altitude hold. This is a 720p camera on this thing apparently. It uh, doesn't say much more on the box other than that. You can see it looks like the Mavic there folded up and then they've got a, some illustration of it opened up there. Alright guys, so one thing I do like looking at here is the advertisement. So right away we click on the picture, it's got a nice looking photos here. It does show the 720 HD camera as well as altitude hold, one key return, does show the product size here, 6.3 inches by 5.31 inches by 2.17 inches tall, that is with it folded up, and with it unfolded we are 17.3 inches wide by 13.7 inches long, and your same 2.17 inches in height. And this is what's showing you right here, what's included. Manual, screwdriver, we got your USB charger, two props, two prop top caps, your chip clip phone holder, and four prop guards, as well as your transmitter and your drone. They're showing that we're going to get up to 10 minutes ultra-long flying time after 70 minutes of charging. It says it's a functional modular design. The drone is easy to be installed and stored, suitable for pilots of every level with foldable arms, small size, easy to carry. Um, the transmitter control or app control. So we should be able to control this with our phone as well as the transmitter. So the camera itself is a wide angle camera, 120 degree, 2 megapixel, 720p wide angle. Uh, it does have emergency stop, headless mode, built-in barometer with altitude hold function provides stable flight. Well, I would hope it provides some stable flight. It is pretty light, so any kind of breeze is probably going to interfere with that considerably. It has one key return. It has three speed modes. Um, what else can we show you here? One key takeoff, one key landing. And this some more advertisement here, a little bit more of what we just discussed easy for beginners and the battery itself is a 3.7 volts it's a one cell 900 milliamp hour lithium battery they're saying we get 80 to 100 meters of range with it now they're saying we get nine minutes of fly time 70 minutes of charge time there's the size again this is what's included again we've already looked at that and just showing a little more advertisement here this is the Q39 model as we're seeing here now for the first time. So it is made by Aurora. This is the Q39 drone. So let's open it up here ourselves and take a look. So we're looking at the transmitter here. Nicely labeled. We'll get to all the functions in a sec once we look at the manual. It does take four AA batteries on your backside here. This little piece does pop out. Not very easily I might add, but it does pop out to allow you to put in the included phone holder which pops in a similar way and then there's your phone holder it, got an iPhone 10 here and it holds that no problem weight distribution feels alright a little bit top heavy with this big phone on there but it's doable so we'll put that aside for the moment I'm looking at the drone here we do have the foldable arms as I previously mentioned they do lock into place. Definitely a brush motor here. You can see the gears on top there. I'm not sure how well you can see that. They have black gears in there, both plastic. The overall design of it looks pretty sleek, just like a Mavic. Um, got these nice little caps on top to cover the, the props here. Not really a, that aggressive of a pitch on the props. And we'll look on the underside here. It does have an on-off switch, which is nice. So you can leave that battery in there. And you've got red lights on the back and green lights on the front. And nice little rubber feet here to land the drone. So that's that's cool. And so looking at the camera here, we've got a three-position camera. Straight ahead, tilted, and nearly all the way down. 
and the focus is not adjustable on this camera it is factory factory adjusted and glued into place so which is nice you can know they've taken a little you know a step hopefully to make sure that this camera is focused nicely to get the best possible quality we can get out of this we've got two LED lights on front I'm not sure if we turn that on yeah there's two red LED lights on the front of it there's your little 2.4 gigahertz antenna we've got our on off switch we see here's the battery it is proprietary battery looks like it does charge by micro USB I do not see any info on the battery here so we're gonna pop that back in and I don't see a micro SD card holder it looks like there would have been a slot there but on this model there is no micro SD so all recording is straight to the phone so we're gonna fold this back up for the sec you fold your back props in first and then you fold your front props in over top that folds up nice it's a, definitely a nice weight this thing is definitely not we can test it out right now if I pull the scale in here we're definitely not over the 250 it's 145 grams on this one we don't have to worry about anything being registered here or we don't have to worry about a lot of the flight restrictions that are included with drones that are over 250 grams so that's nice we don't have to worry about that and what else do we get here we get four prop guards so these prop guards yes there's a little little removable piece of plastic on the outside of the motor housing here that just pops out and the prop guards pop in you won't see these prop guards on while I'm flying I tend to uh, get drones hung up in trees a little bit easier when I have the prop guards on so we'll put that aside but for anybody who's new wanting to fly especially indoors I believe this drone can be flown indoors no issues It'd be nice to have those prop guards on just to save your walls and they've included two spare props I have a clockwise and a counterclockwise prop and in the baggie here let's see what they've included they looks like they've included two of the little uh, covers for the props here so two of these little chrome caps are included the mandatory Phillips screwdriver keeping the collection growing on those that's for sure and your little USB charger micro USB end on there we'll put those aside and let's pull out the manual here the manual itself is very 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 basic it looks like let's open it right up looks like we got the Chinese side and we've got the English side so opened up this way here is your English I do want to take a look at what all the controls are for so we'll take a look at that right now maybe I'll pull this out quickly so we have a little bit better view so top button here that is your speed control I believe it has three speed settings on this one your other top button that is your flip so hit that top button any direction will give you a flip in that direction forward trim backward trim left trim right trim on this side we've got your headless mode your one key return is your second button down you've got your light control so we can turn those lights on and off right from the transmitter and we've got your photo so I believe on this one you press once to take a photo and you hold it to take a video so short press photo long press should be video on that we'll try that out when we're out testing it um, what do we have here we have auto takeoff and auto landing and your power button it's got a nice 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 feel to this transmitter nice size for my hands yeah, the gimbals feel nice there so I like that that's good other than that the rest of this uh, manual is very very basic really don't have to worry too much about reading into that I would think we're gonna have to get this one out there we're gonna have to test it we'll uh, get this tested as soon as we can it's been uh, ugly weather out here in Western Canada but we will get this out there we will get it tested if I have to do it indoors we'll do it indoors but we'll uh, we'll get this out to you fairly soon